In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to use Eleven Labs and explore all the different ways to create and use the different types of AI voices, as well as talking through all the settings and how to get the best results. So by the end of it, you should know how to find and create the voice that is exactly what you want. So just to run through more specifically what I'm going to be talking about in order, I'm gonna be talking about the main differences between the free and paid plans, how to use the text-to-speech and speech-to-speech, -speech, including all the settings and extra details you probably didn't know about, and then and finally, I'm going to navigate through the different AI voices, which include pre-made, the community library, making your own from scratch and generating a clone of your voice using instant cloning and the professional cloning tool. And I'm going to be comparing the differences between the two. So to start with, I want to talk about the different plans Eleven Labs has to offer and what the main differences are to help you decide which is right for you. So on the free plan, you are limited to 10,000 characters a month and you get three custom voices, but there's no commercial license and attribution is required. Then on the starter plan, which is $1 for the first month and then $5 every month, you get 30 thousand characters, 10 custom voices, instant voice cloning, dubbing, commercial licensing and no attribution is required. And then finally, the main difference between the starter plan and the creator plan is first the price, which is $11 in the first month and then $22 thereafter. You get 100,000 characters, you get access to professional cloning tool, and then you also get access to the project section. I would say the free plan is actually really good for just starting out with 11 labs and just playing around with the voices and seeing if it's right for you and it meets your needs. Then if you find yourself using it regularly, you you will run out of 10,000 characters and perhaps you want to make money from the content with the voices in, then I think the starter plan is literally perfect for the majority of people's needs. And $5 a month, which you can cancel anytime, I think is, is pretty reasonable. And I would say, if you want to move up to the creator plan, I think it's only worth it if you really need more characters, like up to 100,000, and you also want the professional cloned voice over the instant voice, which I'll obviously be showing you the difference later on in the video. So the speech synthesis page is where we're gonna start and you've got text-to-speech and speech-to-speech. Text-to-speech is where you simply type out what you want the AI voice to say and speech-to-speech is where you upload or record an audio clip of what you want the AI voice to say. I personally think it's much better to use speech-to-speech -speech if you can because it's much easier to get a more natural sounding output when it comes to the voice. The layouts for both are the same and really easy to use and we're gonna first dive into the voices. There are a number of pre-made voices made by 11 labs as you can see here it gives details about each of them based on accent tone and style and you can also click to preview Hello, what the voice ben, sounds like without having to use up characters this adam voice is the most popular one right now on social media i personally think it's a bit overused and i'm going to show you how to find and create better ones later on in the video but for the purpose of this section i'm just going to select adam for the model, in most cases, we just want to use multilingual V2, which is the latest model. However, when you choose a voice where this isn't the recommended model, 11 Labs will just bring up a box like this telling you what to change it to. Once we've selected the voice, we then move on to settings, and I'm just gonna explain what each of these means and how it impacts the AI voice. So for stability, the stability slider determines how stable the voice is and the randomness between each generation. Generally, lowering the slider is gonna introduce a broader emotional range. However, it's difficult to keep it consistent. On the other hand, setting the slider high will keep it consistent, but there won't be a huge amount of emotion. This is an example of the stability being really low and set to 30%. Hello, my name is Ben, and this is my 11 Labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. And this is an example of it being set to 100%. Hello, my name is Ben, and this is my 11 Labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. Obviously not a huge amount of difference, but if you're looking for consistent results, then higher stability is definitely the way to go. Next up is the similarity slider, which dictates how closely the AI should adhere to the original voice when attempting to replicate it. So this is kind of more relevant if you're using speech to speech, but just to show you how little difference it makes, this is when the stability is on 100% and the similarity is on zero. Hello, my name is Ben, and this is my 11 labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. And this is what it sounds like when the similarity is on 100%. Hello, my name is Ben, and this is my 11 labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. 
I have found that sometimes when it is on 100%, there sometimes is a little bit more emotion, so I'd recommend just keeping it on 100. When looking at style exaggeration, this setting attempts to amplify the style of the original speaker by exaggerating how they speak, but it can be quite inconsistent, and again, it's kind of really more relevant to speech to speech, and Eleven Labs actually say to just keep this on zero. And then finally is the speaker boost. This setting boosts the similarity of the voice to the original speaker. So again, this is only really relevant to speech to speech. And so just to make a closing point around the settings, lots of people have different experiences with the settings. This is all based on the voice you choose, whether it's like a pre-made one, a voice clone, a professional voice clone, etc. So you're really just gonna have to just play around with the settings based on the voice you choose uh, until you find something that is you know, stable and that you're happy with. I have actually found that with the introduction of Eleven Labs newer models, the V2 ones, the stability and consistency in the AI voices is a lot better than it was before. Um, so you hopefully should be able to achieve like a relatively consistent output with your voice so that you can use it across a whole video and it not be kind of like all over the place. And so now we're gonna input the text we want and I'm gonna show you different methods you can use to alter how the voice is. Is spoken. So I've inputted my basic sentence here and first we are going to dictate the pauses. There are a few ways to introduce a pause or a break and influence the rhythm and cadence of the speaker. The most consistent way is to use the syntax break time equals 1.5. This will create an exact and natural pause in the speech and an example could look like this. Give me one second to think about it. Yes, that would work. The break time should be described in seconds and the AI can handle pauses of up to three seconds in length. Another couple of options to explore is using a dash or multiple dashes or an ellipsis. And an example of using both of those things in one sentence is this. If you want to introduce a pause, you can use dashes or you can use an ellipsis. Next up is pronunciation, and in certain instances, you may want the model to pronounce a word, name, or phrase in a specific way. Pronunciation can be specified using the standardized pronunciation alphabets, either IPA or CMU. And to do this, you're just gonna wrap the word in the syntax on the screen now. However, I don't think this is gonna be super relevant to 99% of people, but I just thought I'd put the option there in case you need it. Next up is emotion. If you want the AI to express a specific emotion, the best approach is to write in a style similar to that of a book. This is by using dialogue tags to express emotions such as he said confused or he shouted angrily. And this is an example. Rising anger, whispering to shouting, no, you clearly don't know who you're talking to. So let me clue you in. I'm not in danger, Skylar. I am the danger. The only thing you'll have to do here is remove the end part of the audio. And also what you'll find is that generally cloned voices tend to have a better emotional range than pre-made or voice design ones. And so you'll probably wanna just lean towards picking one of those voices instead. And then finally, we have pacing. To control the pacing of the speaker, you can use the same approach as you did in Emotion, where you write in a similar style to that of a book. And here is an example. I wish you were right. I truly do. But you're not, he said slowly. And so now we move on to speech to speech, which I think is much better because you have more control over your pauses and ranges of emotion and inflections and it just replicates them better without sounding like a bot. This is the voice I use to upload to speech to speech. Hello, my name is Ben and this is my Eleven Labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. And then this is what it sounds like when I use one of the professional voice clones to say what I said. Hello, my name is Ben and this is my Eleven Labs tutorial to help you find the voice you want. And as you can hear, it just replicates what I've said so much better. And so moving forward, now you know how to use text-to-speech and speech-to-speech -speech and the settings and syntax to get what you want. We're now going to move on to all the options Eleven Labs has to 
offer for helping you finding the right voice if you're not happy with any of the pre-made ones and want to experiment more. So first, we are going to go into Voice Lab. This is basically where you can save your voices. And as I mentioned before, you get three on the free plan and 10 on the starter plan. So we're gonna click on add generative or clone voice and we're presented with four options here. We've got voice design, instant voice cloning, voice library and professional voice cloning. I'm gonna go through voice design first, then show you how to find the best voices in the library and then finally go through how to create an instant voice clone and a professional one and compare the differences between the ones I created. So firstly, under voice design, you can choose gender, age, accent, select the accent and strength and click generate. This First, will then show the you what it sounds like. And if you're happy, you can then just click use voice and it will and save as one of your typewriter. custom voices in the voice lab. I personally wouldn't recommend this option as I feel the voices still sound a bit robotic. Even though 11 Lab says that they're just as good as the pre-made and clode ones, I just find I can't get something I like when I try to create them this way, which moves us on nicely to the voice library, which in my opinion is the best place to find a voice. So to get here, we click voice library at the top and these are essentially the voices that have been made by other people through the voice tool or through professional voice cloning. You can easily sort by trending, latest, most users and most characters generated. What I like to do is go on filter, choose the category as professional as these just sound way more natural. And as I stated before, they have a better emotional range than the pre-made or the voice design ones. And you've got gender, age, language and accent. Once you've found one that you like, you just add it to the voice lab and it will then appear and then become one of your three or 10. Then when you go back to the speech synthesis section, the voice will then appear under your voices for you to use. Now we move on to instant voice cloning, which will create a clone of yours or someone else's voice in a matter of seconds. To do this, just give your voice a name and then upload a one to three minute audio clip that's good quality with no background noise. You wanna add some tags and a description and then click add voice. And then once it's done, you can then start generating your AI voice. I pre-created one here and this is what it sounds like. Hello, my name is Ben Kaluza and this is my 11 Labs tutorial and this is my own test of my own voice to see whether it matches my voice. As you can hear, it kind of makes me sound a little bit Australian, which seems to be a recurring theme for British male accents. It might be good enough for you or you might actually just want to clone someone else's voice you like, so it doesn't really matter. However, if it isn't what you hoped, you can then move on to the final AI voice, which is professional cloning. And so this is basically the same process as instant voice cloning. However, it requires a little bit more work as they ask for minimum 30 minutes and ideally three hours of high quality speech. And it can only be your own voice, which they verify. As I alluded to right at the start, this I think is the main benefit of the creator plan. Um, as well as the extra characters. And you can also actually put your voice on the marketplace and earn credits slash money back when people use your voice. I personally uploaded two hours of me reading a book out loud. I did it in 30 minute segments throughout the day to break it up. And this is the result I got and I'm pretty blown away by how good this is. Hello, my name is Ben Kaluza and this is my 11 Labs tutorial and this my own test of my own voice to see whether it matches my voice. As you can hear, it kind of sounds like me and if I really wanted to clone my voice, this is definitely the best option. However, you may not need it and you may just want to use some of the other professional clone voices, which I think are really good, but I hope this video has just shown you the capabilities of 11 Labs, what the different AI voice options are, what the different plans are, so you can take your next steps to producing an AI voice that is exactly what you want to use in your videos.